Hello everyone, it's Kenneth here. This is my quick simulation review of Raw, July 29th. And it's raining pretty bad down here, so I hope you don't hear it in the background. Raw started off with Brad Maddox and Mr. McMahon making their way to the ring and talking about Daniel Bryan not deserving a title shot. Then Daniel Bryan came out and said that he did deserve a title shot, and that it doesn't matter what Mr. McMahon wants, it's all about the WWE Universe. Next moment. The Shield went 3 on 3 against the world's strongest man Mark Henry and the Usos. At the end of the match, Dean Ambrose hit his finisher, and then The Shield picked up the win, yet again and again. Next moment. Kane was looking for the Wyatt family, and Brad said that if he wanted to prove he is still the big red monster, he should take his anger out on Daniel Bryan. Next moment. Rob. Van. Dam. Went one on one against Fan. Dango. In the middle of the match, Fandango said fuck this and left the ring. Next moment. Then AJ Lee talked to Biggie backstage about being spared by Caitlyn and that Biggie liked her. Then she ran off. Next moment. Caitlyn went one on one against the Divas champion AJ. At the end of the match, Caitlyn spared AJ and she picked up the win. After the match, Dolph Ziggler came out and said he wanted to fight Biggie Lexton now. At the end of the match, AJ attacked Dolph Ziggler and Biggie got disqualified. Then Dolph Ziggler hit a zigzag on Biggie. Next moment. Then Daniel Bryan asked John Cena backstage if what Vince McMahon said earlier today was true. Then John Cena said, are you calling me a liar Daniel? Next moment. Then Captain Charisma Christian went one on one against the World Heavyweight Champion Alberto Del Rio. At the end of the match Del Rio was going for the cross arm breaker but Christian rolled him up and he picked up the win. Will Del Rio choose Christian when he's gonna choose his opponent on Friday? Next moment. Then Cody Rhodes went one on one against Wade Barrett. At the end of the match Cody hit the crossroads, picked up the win, then Damon Sandow came out and said, Your family is a bunch of clowns. You're welcome. Next moment. The fan favorite, Daniel Bryan went one on one against his former tag team partner Kane in a singles match. At the end of the match Daniel Bryan rolled up Kane and he picked up the win. After the match was over, the White family came out. Kane tried to fight him off, but eventually the White family got him down. Then Bray said, Just follow the buzzard. <laughs> Next moment. Then Brie Bella went one on one against her colleague at Total Divas, Natalia. At the end of the match, there was a distraction by Nikki, making Brie win the match. Next moment. R Truth went one on one against the Intercontinental Champion Curtis Axel with Paul Heyman at ringside. When Axel was going for the neckbreaker on Arthur, CM Punk came out, attacked Axel, and went right after Paul Heyman, but Paul Heyman got away. Next moment. Then Stephanie McMahon said to Triple H and Vince McMahon backstage that they should give Daniel Bryan a corporate makeover. The final moment has arrived. The WWE Champion John Cena went one on one against Ryback in a tables match. At the end of the match, John Cena hit the AA on Ryback through a table, and John Cena picked up the win. When the match was over, Daniel Bryan came out, he took the title, was gonna reach it out for Cena, but Cena just took it, and Daniel Bryan said yes in John Cena's face. Show over. If you want, you can check out my Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Also, if you want to check my Playthrough channel out, then click the annotation on the screen, or check the link below. Thanks.